Hello everyone and welcome to an all new series where I will be playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 for the first time. Now I grew up with Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 and I just beat Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 last year, but this is my first experience with Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Now off camera I went through the tutorial mode to kind of get used to the controls and how they work, but today I'm going to start with career mode. Well, I'm not going to touch the expansions for now, we're just going to start with Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Select a career or create a new one? How does this work? Load this career. Create a new career. Oh, I see how this works. All right. As I said, my name is Azungu. There we go. Load this career. The Vanilla Hills are the starting point on your meteoric, or not, rise to Roller Coaster Tycoon status. Can you turn this plot into the peeps talk of the town? Your rating as apprentice, entrepreneur, or tycoon depends on it. Vanilla Hills. Apprentice. I need to get 400 guests. Minimum park value of 20,000. Entrepreneur. 500 guests. So 400. 500 with triple the money. Tycoon. 600. Same as, or just 100 more, but I need to have a park value of 100,000. Condition can be achieved at any time. All right. Okay, so I guess I can close that. Interesting. So I start out with a ride. That's kind of cool. Now, in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, you can only charge at the gate or per ride, depending on the preset uh, settings of the scenario. But in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, you can choose. In Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, I have no idea which of these which of these buttons do I use to turn this on. Where's the price for this? Park operations. Okay, that's not the gate. Where's the gate? All the way over here. Oh, we have a roller coaster. Maybe I should zoom out. Oh no, that's totally the gate. <laughs> okay, Vanilla Hills. What do these tabs look like? So here is our financial status, value ratings and attendance graphs. Okay, where is my money? I have 10,000, that's good. This meter for my park rating is really small, so it's hard to tell what it is. Okay, 664. I'm going to assume that's not terrible. Okay. How do I change the fee? Entrance fee, zero dollars. It appears that is locked how it is. So this is a pay per ride kind of park, it seems. Now I think, where are the, aha, details. I think price is in here. Oh no, it's under finances. <laughs> I'm going to assume that the default is too low, but if not, people will stop riding it and I guess we'll get in trouble and I'll have to change the price again. There are a lot of people in this park, my goodness. We have, where does it say? Oh, that's the guests in park. I thought that was a rating. No, this is the rating. So we have a rating of 661, but we have 300 guests in the park. So that's good to know. Okay. Now, do I have a loan I have to pay off? Park management, I'm going to assume that's under here. Finances. Okay, we have a loan of 5,000. So we have $5,000 of free cash and then another 5,000 we have to pay off. Interest is at 3.9%. That's not terrible. Man, one thing I've always wanted to try is riding the rides. So I got to do that in the, in the, uh, in the, what do you call it, in the tutorial, but I want to try it here. Oh, that music is really loud. Okay. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Oh, hello there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, what the? I'm sitting on someone. All right. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Well, when is this going to start? Uh, right operator, can we start? Oh, they're still loading people. Pretty sure running is against the rules, Buster. I love how lively this is. And these 3D models are cracking me up. They are so goofy looking. <laughs> Not to diss on it, I mean, it, 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 this, it's good for what it was at the time. It just looks funny to me. Oh boy. Oh snap, I'm actually feeling, oh wow. I'm gonna get sick. Whoa! Okay, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm not feeling the G-forces, but my brain is synthesizing G-forces because <laughs> this is really convincing. Okay. This is giving me vertigo. Woohoo! Just got splashed. <laughs> oh, I love this. This is so great. Can I scoot to different seats? Neat. Okay. 
Career screen? No. I pressed escape. I'm not sure if that was the right button. It looks like it messed me up. Okay, so we don't have a lot of space to work with, although that's probably in our best interest because I'm a total noob with this and I have no idea what I'm doing. So I think to start with, we should build a ride. Let's build a junior ride because this looks like a really intense ride. Oh, a merry-go-round. Nice. In Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, this is the soul of Roller Coaster Tycoon. But in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, I have no idea. So let's get a path situation set up. I think that's over here. Grab our queue line. Not a lot of options for this, for the paths in this scenario. I saw there were other path options in the in the uh, the tutorial and the free play. I played around with the free play just to see how it worked, the sandbox mode. And yeah, so it looks like we're limited in our options. That's probably for the best because I have no idea what I'm doing and too many options can be overwhelming. I mean, this whole GUI is overwhelming as it is. And why are the buttons so small? Why can't they be bigger? This is not user friendly. <laughs> was I supposed to, whoops, was I supposed to test this before I opened it? Oh, it says testing. <laughs> I just saw the color of the text and I didn't even read it. I just assumed it was open. Yeah, anyway. Now let me see if this has music. I feel like it should. Where would that be? No music. Bring me to shorts. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Girls like Spice, Flathead 4, Gothic Moon. I don't see any kind of organ style or fairground music. Select a new genre for this music. Is that the regular menu music or is that this? Whoa, whoa. Oh, I see, I have to get closer to it. And wow, I love the detail of this. Yeah, look how detailed this is. I mean, it's, it's not fabulous by today's standards, but then you zoom out and you get this, okay, it just, the detail just went way down. But still, this whole park has all of this detail, and you can zoom in and see everything. Like this lady with her little girl, or son, I can't tell. Little girl, yeah. And this dude with the fancy hairdo. This guy who looks confused. Hey, my eyes are up here, dude. Staring at that lady. <laughs> and the scenery, look at this. I am so, I'm so hyped for this. I have never played Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, as I said, so this is my first time playing it, and I need to stop rambling and start building. Okay, let's build a thrill ride. Let's see, gentle rides. What's the difference between a junior ride and a gentle ride? High Flyer has just had to make an emergency stop. I'm going to assume that's this. Yeah, that's this, isn't it? Oh, and it has its own music. Okay. Okay, so we have the overall music that plays when you're zoomed out, which is the background music, but then if you want to, if you zoom in, whoa, too far, on a specific ride, you can hear the music for that ride. Interesting. But I'm confused. Junior rides and thrill rides are separate? Okay. Enterprise. That is pretty big. Let's find a spot where we have room for this. I don't want to mess up any of my scenery because it looks so pretty already. So, uh, maybe oh, we could probably put it over here. Z is the hotkey to rotate. I learned that from the tutorial. Although to rotate the screen, I have to do my mid, the middle of my scroll wheel, which is kind of weird to me, but it, I guess it makes sense. I'm used to the middle uh, holding down the, the scroll wheel, allowing you to pan around, not rotate and do this weird stuff, but whatever. I'll have to get used to it. Where's the paths? Let's get our queue line, the one type that we have access to. And there we go. And I think this should be, this should be testing. Very good. And I just realized I never set a price on the merry-go-round. Let's close the path editor. Let me see, finances, $1. Can I get away with more than that? There is no one on the high flyer. Oh wait, no there is, I just couldn't see from far away. <laughs> I guess that means that the price is good enough. So I have a lot of experience with Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, so there are optimizations for pricing and timings for everything, like uh, how long the ride duration is. For Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, I don't know anything. So I don't have any idea for like the ballpark range of what a price should be like. I don't know uh, what kind of uh, ride stats are appropriate. So I'm going into this in, from the dark. There is no mechanic nearby for High Flyer. Uh-oh. Okay, I'll fix that. Let me find uh, which of these is staff. Terrain tools is not that. 
Okay. It's not this. Let me change this to 10 minutes while I'm here. Okay, so this is $2. If this is anything like Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, I'm pretty sure I can get away with $5 for this. But if people stop riding it, I guess we'll have her answer for that. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Okay, where's my staff tool? We need to hire staff to fix our problems for us. Return to security? No, not that. View controls. Oh, has been fixed. I guess I do have staff. Where, where is he? Where's our little engineer? mechanic dude uh, I don't see him where are my buttons what is this okay oh okay so I can grab this and tuck it that's weird <laughs> what does this do scenario objectives okay so we're almost to 400 and our park value I can't see that let me find my finances Park value, where does it say that? Park value is 20,000. And, uh, yeah, we're already there, so we don't have to really do anything. But I want to become a tycoon! Although I may have to relinquish that desire because I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, staff! It's under... It's under park management. Okay. So it looks like I have these guys already. Roving, watering. Okay, so I guess I don't have to worry about that. That's good. Let's see, what else could I do here? We have all this room for roller coasters, but first I think I need to expand my path network. I wonder if I can cut through these trees here. I said I don't want to ruin my paths too much, but I think a little path that cuts through wouldn't be too bad. Let me grab this path type. Oh, this isn't centered. Oh man, I was hoping it would be centered. If I, if I put a path there, it'll look funny. Why can't I? Oh, I have to select a path type first. Why won't you let me build it? No! What is wrong with this tile? Why can't I? Now, is there something else there? Well, I can do that. But I can't build there. Well, that's annoying. Well, let me put my flowers back if I can find flowers. Let's see. Sci-fi, generic, large flower bed. Oh, good, it's the same color. Perfect. Okay, well, we'll, we'll find another way to skin this cat. We're going to build a path over here and go around that. So let's, uh, I want this area open for a potential flat ride. So let's come around like this, come right up to our trees so our guests get a nice view. I love how easy it is to build the paths. Whoop, wrong button. I held down right click. Let me see. Okay, so now we have more space to interface with, so we can put rides down around here, and I think this area should be left open for roller coasters. Well, some of this area. Let's actually change our path type. Well, no, we'll keep it the same for this part, and then we'll have a junction over here. So let's, uh, well, actually, let's change this. Let's make this whatever, I think this is the same uh, path type. Oh, I have to delete it first? Oh, man, that's annoying. But it's easier to right-click. It's less, less clunky than it is in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Okay, so now we have a loop there that makes it easier to access this area. Perfect. Now let me see. Let's grab our rides. Let's close this. No, that's not what I meant to do. Let me over. Ah, there we go. I want to build a roller coaster. I don't see any wooden roller coasters, and wooden roller coasters are my all-time favorite. We don't have one. Gosh dang it. <laughs> so much for that tradition. Now this looks like a suspended swinging coaster. Compact inverted coaster, that looks like fun. Okay, let's find a good spot for this. Let's press Z, I can't tell which direction this is pointing. Oh, there's a little green arrow. It's not easy to see though. If I hold shift, that lets me build it up in the air. Okay. Let's build it just slightly in the air. Nice. Now this editor is nothing like the editor in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, so it was throwing me off a little bit in the tutorial, but I think, I think I got it. So instead of having a button to build this, I click on the actual direction I want to go to build. Oh, and I love those sound effects. So satisfying to hear that. Now I don't want to encroach on this stuff too much. 
I wonder if one of these footers will be placed strategically somewhere in the scenery. Well, actually, let me let me just see. What what will this do? If I keep going, flatten out up here, turn that off. Okay, how do I delete that piece? Do I right click it? Oh crap, I deleted the whole thing. Oh no! Oh man, that is not what I meant to do. <laughs> okay, I guess we're starting over. <laughs> wait, wait, does Control Z do anything? No, that just rotates it. <laughs> oh, laugh at me in the comments for all I care. Let's see. Shift, drag up. There's no control to say how high it is. Oh, I'm sure there is some button somewhere that toggles that, but I don't know where it is, so I'm just gonna say that it doesn't have it. All right, let's uh, go up, lift hill. You can't rapid click like you can in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, because I'm rapid clicking on my mouse, but this is as fast as it goes. Interesting. Anyway, was I not, oh yeah, I was, okay. Make sure the chain is on. I think, yes. Now we're talking. Let's do this. Make it wider. Straighten out, flatten out. That is not what I meant to do. Where's the uh, the delete, delete, last piece button? Construction. Oh, it's this one. <laughs> I should have known that. <laughs> well, it's so obvious. I Okay. In Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, if you straighten out, it automatically... It automatically uh, levels out the track, and if you want it to stay banked, you have to click on the bank button again. But in this one, it doesn't do that. Although for how often I try to do that, that might actually be for the best. I can't see how tall this is. Where? I need some kind of visual controls. View controls? Aha, here we go. Height marks. Uh, toggle ride supports? Well, I want that to stay on. Scenery and rides. Terrain, transparency, oh, that's cool. Tiles, animals may walk on. Okay, I can't see what that does. Right height indicators. Okay, so we're about at 100 feet over here and now we're down to 85 feet, so. Yeah, so this'll work just fine. Let's do a steep transition. Yeah, so this is a steep transition and this is a long transition by building it tile by tile. I think. So let's build it and turn. Wide turn. Let's go. This is back up to, that is way too tall. <laughs> That's as tall as our lift hill. So let's not do that. Break that. Make it tighter. Yes. Uh, where's my button? Aha, place that. Straighten out. Flatten out. Unbank. And place it. Yeah, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Okay. Oh, this is so neat. I love this. Let's get another angle. Also in the in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, the default is once you bank, it assumes you want it to turn, so it automatically positions the next piece or the transparent piece that you're going to build. It does this for you. But if I didn't do that, it would have just been straight like this. Looks like I'm colliding with myself, so that won't work. So let's delete that. Let's actually make this tighter. Let's level out, place it, go down, place it, turn again. That is not what I meant to do. Now I'm going underground. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I'll have to fix that later. Well, that's actually kind of cool in a way. So I'm at 10.76. So this game must have been designed in, in, a, in metric because of all these funky uh, fractions and decimals that I'm dealing with here. So maybe I should switch to, to a metric for all of you international folks who, if, if we're perfectly honest, metric is far superior to imperial. We Americans just don't like change. <laughs> okay, it's good to see that I get every dollar back for what I spend, although probably not for the terrain that got changed. How do I fix this? Ah, oh, here we go. That's what I wanted. So place that, go up. Now I hope I have room for a loop. Oh yeah, look at that. We have room for a loop and a half loop. Okay, I wonder if I have room for this. So let's do it. And then let's put a 
corkscrew. That's a big corkscrew. Do I have any small corkscrews? I think that's all I get. Okay, so let's do that. 66 feet tall, that should be just fine. Okay, place it, place it. Now I'm going through myself, so let's not do that. Let's go down, straighten out. Go down straight, flatten out. And now we're going underground, did not want to do that. Okay, delete those. So it's, no, 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 no. Ugh. These controls throw me off. Okay. How do I toggle height marks on the land? Toggle path height indicators? Oh, okay. But I can't see it for the ones over there though. I can only see these ones. Oh, it's because they're in the air. Okay. So in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, it just tells you what everything is. So let's turn that off. We'll keep this on. Terrain grid, don't need that. Don't need that. I want one for the landscape. Oh, well, looks like we don't get one. Oh, well, let's just build this out how it is. And I think, yeah, that's a preview that it's gonna go underground, I think is what that is. So let's flatten out. And I think we have enough momentum for a loop. So let's loop. Do I own this land? It's letting me build out here. I actually can't tell what the borders of my park is. I assumed it was the fence, but maybe not. Or that is the borders of my park, but I have building rights to build over it, which would be nice. So we need to go back up a little bit to reconnect with our station. So let's uh, bank. Well, no, let's, let's not bank. Let's just stay flat first because we're leveling out and then go up. Uh, yes. And it looks like I don't get access to the wider turns. Oh, but that's okay. That's okay. It's no big deal. So let's do this. Oh, yeah. Do the wide turn. Flatten out. Hey, it's still banked. Whoops. No, 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 no. Ugh, wrong button. <laughs> no! Flatten first. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. And bank the other way. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, there we go. Now turn. I think we are lined up just right. So let's place this. I don't have enough funds. <laughs> I ran out of money. <laughs> Typical me and my roller coaster building habits. Let's take out more loan. Oh, the loan was 5,000. I thought it was 10,000. Okay. Oh, no, it was 5,000. I'm confusing myself. I've just spent all my money. Okay, so if I click this, uh, where's my construction button? That is not the button. Where is my construction button? Here we go. Let's turn that. This is what I wanted. Okay. Now if I level out, I'm at 30 feet still. So I have, do I have access to helixes on this, I wonder? Oh, so any of these controls can cause you to do that. That's cool. Corridor helix. Oh, this is so, this is perfect. This is perfect. I love this. Well, maybe we should actually level out flat first. Am I going down? Oh, no, I'm flat. Okay, perfect. So let's put some brakes here, I think. Well, maybe just a few straight pieces because brakes, well, yeah, we put brakes here, whatever. Brakes. I like that it's just right here. You have quick access to it. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to uh, open a special menu. It's just already open for you. But I don't like how small the controls are. It's terrible. And it's like, how do I do this? Let me see. <laughs> no, I do not like that. No, 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 don't build. Crap. Where is my brakes option? Is that not under this? Block brakes. Oh, I have to to toggle it on. I thought it was, wasn't available because it was grayed out. Let's move this up to something modest like that. And then the last one will be reduced to eight miles per hour. And yes, perfect. Or maybe I should have a block break. So let's grab the block break, put it right there. 
Or maybe we should put the block break by the station, so let's delete that. Now we can have our little helix that we had. And then quarter helix down. I am not lined up with the station. Uh, but that's okay, because we have access to S-Bends, and I think we are just uh, one tile off. Yeah, I looked at the supports and saw the supports were lined up with it before, and that's what made me think it was can, it was lined up. Do we only have one kind of helix? In Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, you have tight helixes, and you have wider helixes. But I guess in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, I only have access to wide helixes. Interesting. So there's a reason why people prefer one versus the other. Because both games have unique things that the other doesn't. Okay. Well, now let's try this. <laughs> what is that? This? I don't think this leaves me room for bra for block breaks. So let's not, let's not do that. Let's backtrack just a tad. So this was curved before. Let's bring it down so we don't have to bring it down later. And then, will this go underground? Yes, it will, unless we do that. No, 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 no. Straight. Flatten out. Now we're lined up, so that's good. Now we just have to... Oh, I messed up the ground. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I wish there was a preview that would warn me of that. Or, I mean, I guess there was. I just missed it. Uh, we'll have to fix that in a minute. Instead... Err. Grr. Let's just go down. Down a tile. Now we'll have our little helix. And then this also gives us space. Uh-oh, that's not good. Or I just do that. Yeah, the solution was right in front of me the whole time. Okay, and if I flatten out here, ah, there we go. That's what we want. I guess we don't need the helix. Let me backtrack. You guys get to watch me struggle through this. <laughs> no, 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 no. That is not what we want. Let's go around like this. But then, maybe the helix brings me down two levels, not just one. Maybe that's what the problem is. So flatten out. Huh? I'm so confused. Why is this not... The increments don't, uh... Okay, then. So this is 19.04. This is 20.75. So if I helix down... I am not lined up with, well, if I go up, flatten out, well, now I am, okay, whatever, whatever, it's fine, so let's have a straight segment here, and then put block breaks right at the end, block breaks, all right, after much struggling, we finally have it, <laughs> my first custom roller coaster, and roller coaster tycoon 3, let's go, now, I think we can change the lift hill speed. Can I change it? Continuous circuit. Let's go. Block section. Does it tell me how many trains I get? Uh, I hear people cheering. <laughs> Let's see. We get a number of trains. I can increase that to two because of my block sections. That's good. And I can increase the number of cars per train. Oh, I love that it shows you the preview on the screen. That is that is fabulous. And I'll mess with the colors in a minute. I actually kind of like the black color. That's neat. Stands up really well against the, the, the bright green background. But I might change it. I'm not settled for it yet. Okay. Ride properties. Wrong button. I think... Hot Flyers just had to make an emergency stop. I assume that's the equivalent of breaking down. Okay. Well, our mechanic will fix it. I don't know if I can change the lift hill speed. Oh, wait, no, I can. It's just right here. These arrows are so small. How fast can I make this? 
Oh, that fast. Okay. Neat. Wait for any load. That's what we want. We don't want it to get stuck in the station while people decide whether or not to ride it. Any load. Perfect. Now let's test it. Now as it tests... Well, I want. I kind of want to watch it, but... Let's watch it in third person. Yes, yeah, so you guys watch it in third person while I build the path. And then when it's done, then we'll watch it in first person. Because that will be awesome. I can't really hear it. Good to see it says breeze is over the top of that hill. That's what I like to see. Up that hill. Almost stalls, but not quite. Can't really hear it unless I move closer to it. Just ever so gently breezes through that inversion. Uh-oh. Oh, no. That's bad. That's bad. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Looks like this loop isn't going to work. We didn't have enough momentum. Unless... Oh, I didn't realize these supports... This track is totally just floating without supports. <laughs> In typical roller coaster tycoon fashion. That's hilarious. Okay, then. I think... Well, let's get... Well, I'll get the pass it up first because I have that open. Uh, let's go with this. And here is one thing that really confused me in the editor, is I can't figure out how to make it go down. I guess I set myself up to fail. If I can't figure this out, we're in trouble. So we have that. There should be like a pop-up button that gives me the option to go up and down, isn't there? How do I... Uh, da, da, da. How do I freaking make this go down? Do I shift? And I'm losing money every time I delete something. Okay, uh, control. I may have to Google this because I can't figure this out. This is a problem I actually had in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 for years as a kid. Is that I didn't know how to make it go down. I hear ducks. Where are they? Where are they? There they are. No, 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 come back, come back. Where'd they go? Aha. You didn't think you were going to escape, did you? Oh, he lost his feathers. <laughs> I can't hear him quacking, though. Do I have to be closer? No, no, let me... Oh, this camera... Let me do it. <laughs> are they going to hit the mountain or are they going to fly over it? Oh, they're flying over it. Okay. Oh, I don't know why they're losing their feathers, though. That's funny. Anyway, back to what we were doing. Um... Oh! Okay, now it makes sense. Why is it not letting me... Okay, let's backtrack this. Dinosaur go-around? Is that just a reskinned version of the merry-go-round? Huh. Uh, anyway. Oh, I well, like how fast the minutes are ticking. That's interesting. So these guys are walking in, like, super slow motion if you scale the time to relative to how they're moving. <laughs> That's hilarious. I am so stumped. How do I freaking make this go down? So clicking the arrow doesn't do anything. No! Oh! I think I get it now. I think I get it now. Okay. Oh, ho, ho, now I get it. Now I get it. All right. We are we're out of we're out of trouble now. So let's uh go this way like so. No, 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 no. Go go this way. Straight. Turn. Straight. No, no, no. Keep going straight. No, no. Oh, turn. Go up. Yes. And flatten out. That doesn't connect. <laughs> I did this all wrong. <laughs> Typical me. So let's flatten it out here. Then turn. Turn again. No. Goes up. Flatten out. So now we're at the correct level. Make a turn the other way. Uh, oh, I did this wrong. Okay, let's uh, backtrack again. We have to make this go up twice. So let's start it here. There we go. Now we can do it. Perfect. Now I just got to do the same. 
with this. Let's grab the same path type. Oh, I love the little yays of the people. That's so cute. All right, now we got to solve this loop problem. Now there's multiple ways we could do this. We could try to drop the loop lower, although we'd have to edit this whole ladder section. Or we could build the, the top of this lift hill taller. So I think we're going to do that. If I go to my construction button, construction, then left click it. Okay. So let's come to here. This is where it's flat. So that's where we'll have to interface with. So let's uh, delete all of these. And we'll just have to deal with the fact that this totally is floating over the space. <laughs> so I think a few tiles should do the trick because we almost made it through the loop. Maybe just one more for good measure. Now the, cons now the thing we have to worry about is whether we will, um, whether it'll be too fast and have too many G-forces through our first inversion. But we'll find out. Let's go, eh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's go down. I did it again. <laughs> down. Roll it. There we go. Place it. Tight turn. Wide turn. Here we go. Flatten out. And reconnect. And this looks so janky. There's nothing holding it up. <laughs> Maybe if I can figure out, does it tell me Aw, oh, it doesn't highlight the tile under it. If I could highlight the tile under it, maybe if I just look straight down. If I delete the flowers... That didn't work. Okay, I gotta put the flowers back. Or delete all these. Ah, oh, man. I'm just ruining my park now. Let's put it back. I think that was this one. And that was flowers, so we'll grab our flowers. That's under scenery. Large flower bed. It's a different color. It's interesting. I think I can change the colors of it, but I'll figure that out later. Or actually, no, can I do it here? Turn everything off. Large flower bed. Quarter tile. Oh, that's just like Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. That's neat. So now if I exit out of this, and exit out of this, Aha, I have to click on it. So we got pink and red. So this uh, yellow has to go. There we go, I fixed it. Now I just need, just need my benches. Which I assume is this. Where is, aha. That is so cool. All right, well, we fixed that, or rather undid what I how I messed it up. Anyway, let's test this monstrosity. Oh, garbage cans, whoops, turn that off. Test the monstrosity. So we've pretty much watched it already in third person. Let's watch it in first person. Woohoo! With this incredibly fast lift hill. Oh, I'm excited. Sometimes if I want to thrill, I'll just pull up a roller coaster uh, first person view on YouTube just to get an idea of what it looks like. And even though you're not actually experiencing the G-forces, I think your brain actually compensates somewhat and fills in what it thinks should happen if it's immersive enough. So like I'm like I feel like I'm automatically adjusting in my seat for the turns and stuff to like compensate for the g-forces. Woohoo! Oh, this is so cool. Puts a big smile on my face. There we go. We made it. We made it through the loop. Yes, that is so cool. I think this is the exit. All right. So now that's done testing, let me turn off these height marks. It's kind of distracting. Uh, where is that? That is, I already forgot where that was. Maps, view controls. Here we go. Much better. Much prettier to look at. Now I said I like the black, but as a YouTube content creator, what is good is things that pop out because I have to make a thumbnail with this. So I'm going to actually go to the colors. Ooh, nice awards. Okay, I like how you can actually pull it down and see his, what old stuff you have. Anyway, I think the paint control is here. So this is the track, or is that the... No, that's not the track, that's the train. Okay. These are colors for the... Recolor all of the track. So let's get a base color. That's not doing anything. What is this for? 
tunnel lights. Oh, that's cool. I don't have any tunnels. Let's make... What, what does this change? Okay, that's the rails. This one is also... Okay, so that's the ribs and the, the, the main rail, the support. The black supports actually look really cool, but I think I'm going to change it to white. Is that white or is that gray? Well, that's white. All right, yeah, I'm digging this. I love this. Now, because the track is red, the trains can't also be red, so let's change the trains to blue. Now, that was not the not the red button. <laughs> change this to blue. And I've accidentally just made this uh, American colors. Oh, well, that's fine. So let's look at our stats. I think that's under this one. Ooh, not too shabby. Let's go. Now, I think with that, let's uh, open it, change the price from this measly $1. Can I hold this down? There we go. This is one thing that Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 and 1 do wrong, is you can only go up in 10 cent increments. Open RCT2, which is what I typically play, um, allows you to actually open a little dialog box and type a price in. Open RCT2 also changes these arrow keys and makes them bigger. But vanilla Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 doesn't, so I can't say that Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 does that better than RCT3 because they're the same. So it is what it is. Let's see, what do my finances look like? I spent a lot of money. Let's see, how am I doing? This is still locked. I have the, the same number of guests in my park. I think I lost guests, actually. How does guest generation work in this game? I, I ask questions as if you could actually answer, which is funny, because you're not here yet. <laughs> I'll have to look it up. But maybe tell me in the comments, how does guest generation work? Do individual rides have a soft guest cap? Like the, in the each ride draws a specific number of guests potentially to the park? Or is it more determined by your rating and ride stats? That would be good to know, so let me know in the comments. I have this price at $8. I wonder if I can get away with more than that. It looks like $10 is the maximum, and people are still getting on and paying for it. Okay. So I see my money going up. So that's a sign to me that they are willing to do that. Although that might just mean that they have a lower satisfaction when they get off. I don't know. Uh, let's build more flat rides. This park is very barren and lacking in, uh, in things that it could have. So let's do that. Build a ride. Let's go with Junior Rides. No, oh, we don't want those. It's a... Ah, oh, here we go. Chair swing. Let's put that close to the front. Never mind. It looks too similar to the merry-go-round. Let's put it over here. Let's give it a little bit of space from the path so I can fill it in with scenery. Okay. Grab our paths. Let's grab the same path type as this. Oh, I love that! I didn't notice that. It automatically updates the ground. Oh, I'm too close. The ground around the ride. So the default is concrete, but then when you connect it with the pet, that is so cool. I'm liking this game more and more. That is, that is incredible. All right. And this should have been testing. I keep forgetting to test it. While it's testing, let's turn the price up to something more respectable, like, I don't know, $4. I don't know what the stats are on this. Does it tell us yet? Oh, let's turn this down. <laughs> Maybe $3. Assuming people are even willing to ride it for that much. There should be pop-ups that tell me if something is too cheap or too expensive. I remember in one of the tutorials that popped up. So let's close all of this. Yeah, close that. And I think we need shops and stalls. I think that's this icon. Let's get some food. Oh, nice and simple. We only have a few things. Let's place uh Maybe, should I put them over here? In Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2, the strategic thing is to have them uh, placed, uh, scattered throughout the park so people don't have to walk so far to find them, as opposed to real life parks where they're typically all in the same place. So it would seem like that would be the ideal way to do it, is to put them all in the same place. And I see a lot of players do that, but that appears to not be how it actually works, which is weird. How do I change the the, the price for these? Oh, I don't have control over that yet. Oh, look at that! The little guy's giving him burgers! Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> and I love how goofy the mouth. She just walked through the countertop! So it's not perfect, but there's there's charm that comes with that. I like that. Woohoo! 
Look at that, I passed Apprentice. I got more people into the park. Now it's time to try the entrepreneur objectives. Yes siree, let's do that. All right, well I guess I can't change the, what does this do? I'm gonna leave this at the defaults. I don't wanna mess with that yet. I don't know what I'm doing well enough to mess with that. So let's get a drink stall. Looks like we only have one option. Press Z and, roll, and open RCT2, it automatically snaps to the path. And the vanilla game, it doesn't. Um, but I kind of missed that. And again, I can't change the prices. Leave those at the defaults. I've won the award, best reliability, that's good. Okay, and as I said, I wanted to put scenery over here. So let's grab our scenery tools. I think that's here. Let's go with the uh, path accessories first. We need garbage cans, especially because we have... Uh, let's turn everything else off. I love how there's filters. We're gonna need trash cans near this because we have uh, food stalls here. Just a few. Okay. Let's place them out here too. Now in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, you can actually place them on stairs. Can you do that? Oh, you can. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> oh, they're ramps. They're ramps. I didn't realize. So, I okay. My, I, I saw that there was the steep controls, which I guess is stairs. Okay, that's so cool. But you can do ramps or stairs. Man, I'm just discovering all these little details. That's so cool. I didn't know you could do that. Well, back to scenery. What were we doing? Uh, path accessories. This is not the right tool. Here we go. Trash cans. More ducks. I'm not going to mess with them right now. Let's place uh Yes, give me this. Let's alternate sides of the path. Now we have a chairlift. Cool. I keep thinking this is broken because it looks like it's halfway stuck behind this. But it's supposed to look like it's sliding down. Then if I grab it and pull it down, you can uh, pull it down. You can see all the other things. But my brain keeps immediately assuming that there's a bug, because I guess the interface is just a little. Uh, uh oh, High Flyer got his doors stuck open. It's a little different than what games look like today. But yeah, this game was way ahead of its time. All the 3D graphics and everything for how old this is. I'm really impressed. I like this. I'm not gonna say I like it better than Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 necessarily. I mean, I could say that, but. Uh. I can't decide that yet, because obviously I haven't played it long enough to really know. So we have garbage cans over here already. Let's place one right there. Is that broken? No, it's not. It's just the, the graphic looks funny from far away. Okay, let's turn this off. Let's grab benches. Marble bench? That's cool. Let's go with wooden benches. That seems more in theme with the aesthetic of this park, with all the trees and such. And Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, it automatically snaps to the path, but I, I have to... It keeps going to the center, and then I have to drag to the side to make it actually place it, which is kind of annoying. So as I said, both games do some things better than the other game does, is my impression so far. We're going to need uh, benches here for people to sit where, while they eat their food. Whoops, there we go. Now, I also know in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2, placing benches near the exits of rides is advantageous because it helps people mitigate their nausea problems. Is that the same in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3? Let me know in the comments. That would be good to know. And just to be safe, let me put a bench here. I can't do it because it's a ramp. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, well. Well, that works. And then let's do some flares as well. Let's see. Foliage. Flower beds. Let's do the large, the large flower beds. And can I change the colors right here, or do I have to place the default and then change them individually? That would be lame. I feel like I should be able to change it from here. Do I do it here? Oh, here it is. Yeah, these little control panels in the bottom corners. I keep missing them. <laughs> Let's get some white flowers, and combine that with pink and yellow. Never mind. I can barely see it. Instead of yellow, let's go with red. Yeah, that's much better. And then we'll fix that one in a second. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. Okay, let's change this one, as I said. First of all, close that. Click this and change the yellow to red so it matches the others. Perfect. Okay, we have all this room for more rides, so let's build some more. We're gradually increasing the number of guests in our park. 
our rating has gone up about 100, it looks like. That's good. Right up time, that's good. Oh, it actually gives you a breakdown of the factors that go into the park rating. That's cool. Happy guests, plus 500. Nice. And it updates live. That's also really nice. Yeah, so overall, I'm very impressed with this game. I mean, it's aged pretty well, especially compared to uh, following installments like Roller Coaster Tycoon World. But yeah, this is really neat. I love this. I think we have more variety of thrill rides. I only built a handful. So we have these two already. What is the revolution? Oh, this is huge. Whoa. This is massive. Holy smoke. Okay, well, let's uh, find a space. I don't want everything to be too close together, as I said. Okay, so we'll put the entrance over here and the exit over there so it automatically snaps to the path. Now we need to build our queue line. Before I forget, let's test this. Okay. There we go. Now it's symmetrical. Almost symmetrical. <laughs> Close this. I wish the I wish these X's were bigger. Because if I act if I had the path open, watch this. If I miss and I aim for this, oops, I placed a path. And I lose money on it because it costs twelve and you get ten dollars. That's actually just like a roller coaster tycoon too. So I have to be really careful where I click. Grr. Are these counterweights? Yeah, I'd imagine those are counterweights. Inflatable ship. What is that? Does it, can I click on it and, oh, it's gone. <laughs> I guess I have to go find it myself. In Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, I think you can click on the notifications and it opens the menu for you, which is cool. So this is done testing, so let's open it. Nice stats, well, that's not the best. That's actually really high nausea rating, sheesh. Let's turn this up to $5. Uh, do the pr the do prices age, or do rides age like they do in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2? Let me know in the comments. Because in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, if as a ride ages, people are willing to pay less and less for it to ride it. So that would be good to know if I have to go back and micromanage the prices. No one is riding this. Is that why? Oh, I'm, pff, it's testing still. Oops. <laughs> I'm such a noob. Is anything else still testing? Oh, good. Doesn't look like it. That's good to see. This one. Oh, good. It automatically switches between them as I click around. That's good. Okay. I like the colors. I'm not going to bother with changing them. I do want more scenery, though. And I think placing these uh, flowers... Well, I guess that makes sense there. There's path touching it from all sides, so that's fine. But over here... Uh, my camera. Let me go. Uh, there we go. I want to place more flowers over here along the borders of this path, and then maybe trees elsewhere. So let's grab our scenery again. Grab our large flower beds. I'm going to leave them with the color that we set before. Can I drag this? No, I have to place them individually. Okay. There we go. Now let's turn flowers off. Turn trees on. Is this shrubs? Large Douglas fir. That's actually the kind of tree that grows around my house. There's lots of Douglas firs where I live because I live in Washington State. Let's see, large sugar pine. And the thing I love about foliage is you don't have to be really precise with it because if you look at nature, they are kind of random where they grow. You just place them where you place them, and that's how they are. Okay, this is already shaping up to look a lot better. I could probably fit a small roller coaster over here, so let's not put anything else over there yet. Let's fill the rest of the space in with more flat rides, and I'm running out of money. Huh. How much do more rides cost? I did not mean to do that. <laughs> close. No, no, don't, don't exit. How do I close this? Which control is this? Here it is. There we go. What is this? Kleenexes? Enclosures? Oh, that's probably for like this, the this, the uh, the wild update stuff. I'm going to mess with that later because I don't know enough to really get into that yet. I'm still a noob here, so lots of peeps are hungry. Okay, that's easy to fix. Let's get our bumper cars here. What is there to test? Wait a minute, are they driving themselves? <laughs> They're driving themselves. <laughs> so in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, some rides don't have a test function because there's nothing to test. It's just on or it's off or open or closed. But I guess in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, they didn't uh, put that detail in. But whatever, it's fine. Let's open this. Change the price for 50 cents. What the heck? Let's try $3. Will anyone pay $3 for this, or is that too much? 
Uh, what are people thinking? I'm not paying that much to go on Tumblr. Okay, but some people are, though. So, I need the toilet. Okay, it looks like I've forgotten to build some things. Let's find some amenities. ATM, first aid, information, toilets. There we go. That is a funky toilet. Seems like a good spot for it. Oh, and I can charge for it, too, just like a roller coaster taking too. That's funny. Okay, well, we'll put that there. And we're going to need some food over here as well. So let's bring up our menu again. Food. We have fries as well. Okay, let's put it there so we don't mess up our path. Open. I'm going to leave it at the default price. What else? I only have one kind of drink, so I guess that's what we're stuck with. Okay, let's put a bathroom on the opposite side of our park. Maybe over here. I'll end up messing up this bench in this garbage can, but that's okay. Oh no, they stay there. Do people just walk around them? Because the path's automatically connected. I want to see, can people actually get in? Or do the benches block them? Well, this guy broke his shin on this one. Oh, this girl has a, an RTCT... Blah, 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 I can't even talk. An RCT3 cap. That's cool. I love the details. This is so cool. Uh, just to be safe, I'm just going to get rid of these. Get rid of these. I don't want to wait to find out if that's a problem or not. I'll probably find out later as I go along. Anyway, let's... Uh, I'm almost out of money. I should probably earn that back, but I don't know how to do that. I don't, don't know how to optimize everything. So this was too expensive is what people were saying, but all these people are in line, in line to write it. Can I just fast forward this? Okay, you can. Yeah, there's people riding it, so it's not too expensive, I don't think. New attraction, giant slide. And our money is going up, so I guess it's not a big deal. What are the thoughts for this one? I, I want to go on roller... Uh, mer uh, yeah, merry-go-round one again. It's okay, so people like it. <laughs> what was that? Did you hear that? <laughs> that... Ugh. I think someone threw up somewhere. I, I'm going to have a hard time finding it, though. Oh, right there. I don't know if it was the, the, the specific one we heard. That is nasty. <laughs> is someone watching me? This park is really tidy. Nice. Coming through! I assume that means that... Uh-oh, uh we have to turn our burger price up. I assume that means that uh, that it's crowded. So in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, the thought is, it's crowded. Or it's really crowded. But here, it just says, coming through. Okay, so this is too cheap. But I can't actually change the price, can I? Oh, I do it here! <laughs> so this is my financial breakdown. I actually changed the prices here. That's not very intuitive. What the heck? Oh, I get five cent increments. That's interesting. Let's make that $2. Standard burger, $175. Half pound burger. And the three quarter pound burger. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what is the right price with this. I guess we'll have to play it by ear and find out as we go. But I'm loving this. This is so cool. Let's look at our objectives so far. I've unlocked entrepreneur. I got 500 guests into the park, so I'm working on it still, I think. My park value is... Where is it? Where is it? It's this button, isn't it? Park management, finances. Park value is 48,000. That's a lot of red. I don't see a lot of profit going on here. Ride tickets are nothing to shake a stick at. So could I be charging more than these than I am? Let me see. This is $5, but people are going on and riding it. Maybe I just have to wait it out. Because Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, most of the scenarios, you can play through them in about uh, one to three hours, depending on how long the scenario is. Uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, what is the uh, play, the play flow supposed to be, typically? Is this something you come back to many times to finish? Or can you beat it in one setting realistically without being here all day? I mean, I guess you can't really answer me in real time because you're not here yet, but... I guess I'll find that out in the, in the 
I'll have to look it up and maybe you tell me in the comments and I'll find out later. Hello, folks. Whoa, too far. How are you liking this ride? Here's our mechanic. He looks like he's going to inspect it. Oh, I can see there. Thoughts as well. I'm sick of this task. Bored, bored, bored. So where do I get the overview? So he's happy. Laziness, 11%. Okay. Fix rides, inspect rides. What does this do? Thoughts to the console. Highlight by this person. To fire him. Discipline. What does this do? Is If he's too lazy, does... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Even more controls. That's interesting. Train. Uh, no, I don't think I need to. But he's just hanging out over here. What is he doing? Let me see if his laziness meter goes up. Oh, it's still 11%. Okay. He's just moseying about, not doing anything important. Oh, I earned some of my money back. Nice. With that, I think we can build more rides. So let's do that. Let's build another thrill ride. I'm pretty sure I had more of them. What is this? Oh, it's a transport ride. Other rides and attractions? Cheshire Cats? Okay. Well, that's not what I want. Um, where's my thrill rides? That's this one. Giant Slide. Oh, I have to, I have to custom design it. Okay. Let's find a spot that this would look good in. Maybe up to here. But yeah, if I fill in this space. Oh, no, I want to put a small roller coaster over here, though. So maybe, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let's turn this around. I'm going to have to guess how this works, I guess. Uh-oh, that's not how it goes. Oh, so the arrow indicates the end, and then you start building backwards. Uh-oh. Looks like I have to build it closer to the path. Interesting. So let's move it over so I can put the entrance and exit over there. Whoops. Then up twice. There we go. Nice. And then um, how do I get the entrance and exit on here? Or does this just connect directly to the path? How does that work? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I can toggle the height here. I should have done that when I was designing the other roller coaster. No, don't delete it. Just bring this back. Okay. Delete that. Rotate it. Oh, wow, I can make it go all the way up there. Okay. I can't open it. It has no entrance. Well, how do I build an entrance? Uh, construction. Let's bring this back down. Well, I guess I could just go up. But I don't want it to be too close to this. That just doesn't look right. Um... No, 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 no. Delete that. Wait, do I get my money back with that? I was 60. Did I find a bug? Minus 60 plus 116. So if I keep doing this. <laughs> I totally found a bug. <laughs> well, I don't want to exploit that too much. That's just not the spirit of the game. But yeah, it's not perfect. That's for sure. Let's see, how do I get the, uh, how do I build the, no, no, don't delete it, don't delete it. How do I build the entrance and the exit? I am so lost. Slide top. So now it's taller, that doesn't do us any good. Giant slide one, that lets me rename it. Maybe the entrance and exit is just the path that goes to it? Well, that did no good. Okay, let's, uh... Hmm. I'm so stumped. How do I do this? Where is the button to turn on the entrance and exit? Dude! There's nothing in here. 
It just lets me go up, up, and away. Well, I do want it to be at least that tall. What the? There's a graphics bug. Every time I click it, that little thing changes. Interesting. Is it over here? Operating. Um, can't open while editing. Fair enough. Okay. Now, vehicles, there's no vehicles, obviously. Guest thoughts, finances, details, uh, graphs. That doesn't do anything. I'm so stuck. Grr. Okay, well, I guess I'll figure this out later. <laughs> That's annoying. Ah, uh, I wanted to build that. Okay, we'll build something else. Let me know in the comments. You're all probably laughing at me. I'm super clueless here. Thrill rides. We already built the Revolution Sky Sling. Okay, we have a top spin already. Oh, it's this thing. The one that we've all wanted to ride but never done because it's too scary. We chicken out less. I'm just kidding. I'll only speak for myself. Well, no, the real reason I've never rode it is because uh, as, a, as a kid, my mom didn't want to pay extra for it when all the other rides were free to ride. Kid, like kind of cars and stuff. And as an adult, I just haven't gone to enough theme parks that had these. Let me see, where is my path? Yeah, so it automatically placed those, but I couldn't get out of the editing mode for the other one. That's weird. Okay, so that should be sufficient. Test. I think we can ride this. Hold on, I want to ride this. Whee! Well, this isn't all too terribly... Oh, there we go. And smack the ground. Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> oh, I see what it's doing. It's like the seats are changing, are moving. That's cool. I imagine that would be terrifying to ride in real life, but it's not particularly exciting from a from a computer screen like a roller coaster is. So let's open it. Let's up the price so we actually make some profit off of this thing. Based on the stats. Oh wow, with stats like that, I could easily charge five dollars for this. I assume. I actually have no idea. <laughs> If it's anything like Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, then I can. We have water rides. No items. Okay, there's nothing in there. So I've built all of these except the giant slide. This is stumping me so hard. I, uh, I want to build it, but I don't know how. Okay. Does the entrance and exit have to be on this tile? Is that why it wouldn't let me do it? If I delete that... Yeah, it's facing the wrong way again. Turn. Okay. So that's it. Now, let me put an entrance or exit on it. How do I do it? Grr. Okay. Slide top. Uh, I'm still stumped. Giant slide, no music. Obviously, you can't change that. Yeah, let me know in the comments. Is this just broken? I mean, no, the game's not perfect, but... Yeah, delete the whole thing. That's so weird. Have we unlocked anything else? Let me see. And the gentle rides, junior rides. We have reskinned merry-go-rounds. Reese's peanut butter cups? <laughs> I love how these are actually branded. That's funny. So I guess, uh, let's put this over here. Maybe nestle it in the trees a little bit. Well, never mind, I'll just mess up those trees. And test while I build the paths for this. Is this the Q, then no, that's the, yeah, that's the Q line, whoops. Then I grab the other path type, there we go. Lay down roller coasters. So I'm unlocking a lot of roller coasters, but not a whole lot of uh, flat rides. Interesting. Let's open this. What are the stats? Nothing too exciting, but I think we can turn the price up a bit. Maybe $2. 
And, uh, where's my other, where's my merry-go-round? All right, and this one has music on it. And the stats are much lower, so I guess the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups get, uh, get better stats. Whoa, too far, let me, let me back, okay. And people are lining up, so we do have income, it looks like. But as far as optimization, I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's look at our financial graph. We're making about a thousand per month, roughly. Empty categories. I'm going to leave those open, I think. Okay. Entrance fee is zero because I can't change it. Or can I? Did I just miss the, the button? Entrance fee. Awards. Marketing campaigns. Ad campaign for the park. Oh, here we go. This would be a good idea. National newspaper. Okay, yeah, I can afford that. Let's see what that does. Although this park is getting kind of crowded. Let me see, how much of a loan can I take out? I'm at uh, 10,000 right now. I can only go up to 20,000. And with that interest rate, I don't wanna get too carried away with that. Um, yeah, so I have no idea what I'm supposed to do now. So let's just fast forward and see how this develops. The park rating is really high by the look of it. We're in the 800s. The guest count has stagnated a little bit. 670. It is gradually going up. That's good to see. Our money appears to be going up. Let me look at the financials again. We've made a thousand so far. Hershey's Kissing Tower. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a funny name for a ride. <laughs> March is about to finish. So we've made more money this month than any other month. That's good. What just happened? Just had to make an emergency stop. Okay, it looks like I broke down. Compact inverted roller coaster one has been fixed. Okay, well, I wonder if we should hire more staff. I'm not sure what the optimal number of staff members is, but let's just have uh, maybe one more. That's the wrong tab. Hello, Mr. Mechanic. How do I hire more of you guys? Guests, turn that off. Uh, staff, come back. Mechanic one. There we go. Happiness, he's so unhappy. Why is he unhappy? How do we change that? Laziness, 70%, dude. How do I discipline him? What happens if I just rapid click it? Oh, I just did it, did it a lot. <laughs> now let's look at him. Laziness, 20. oh, I guess I made the laziness go down. Okay, well that's, I don't know how to fix that, but <laughs> he's super unhappy. We'll name him Mopey. If I can spell. God, I can't spell. Mopey! <laughs> we have one janitor, but I don't see a lot of, uh... Is this getting fixed? I don't see a lot of, uh, vomit or trash. I take that back, I see a lot of vomit. I just couldn't see it as well. So let's hire more janitors. Wrong tab again. Hire some janitors. Is that this guy? Oh, it's this one. Hire a janitor. So he's happy. This one's happy. Oh, they're all different. That's so interesting. Okay. This one is very lazy. So do I, does that mean I discipline him? What does this do? Oh, uniform colors, okay. Whee! <laughs> what kind of thought is that? <laughs> Let's try disciplining him again, see if that changes his uh, stuff. It's still 34%. I don't know if that changes anything. I'm so confused. Ad campaign just wrapped up. We have uh, almost 700 guests in the park. Does that mean we lost guests? Because I'm pretty sure we had 800 something a minute ago. Killer whale shell, cool. I'm pretty sure this part of the expansion. Ooh, a crow. 
That's not a crow, that's an eagle. I mean, it looks like a crow, but it's making raptor sounds. I'm confused. Well, whatever. I love that you can interact with the animals flying around. That's cool. Let's open this again. We made 1400 last month. We are about two-thirds of the way through April. And we've only made 800. Yikes. Um, how do I fix that? Sandy path? Oh, cool. So we can unlock path types. That's cool. Now, I think somewhere I can, I could be able to turn on an ad campaign. What is this, a park value? Well, this is a cash. Let's go. Park value has been gradually going up. We're about, we're at about 6,000, uh, 60,000 now, I think. Let me see. So the minimum park value has to be 60,000 to finish entrepreneur. And if I look at my financials, the park value, uh, only 50,000. Oh no, 57,000. We're almost there. Uh, but we're hurting for cash. We are really hurting for cash. And I don't know why. Oh, these guys are chatting. I'm really hungry. How long ago was that? That was in March, so that was last month. Maybe we need more food items elsewhere in the park. Okay, let me see. Grab some food. Ice cream. We don't have any ice cream yet. Uh, open that. And what do you sell? Wait, do I have to toggle them? Oh, I have to add that to uh, That adds it to it. Okay. Vanilla single scoop. Let's add chocolate to all of them because that's cool. And what is this? Strawberry sauce. Some. So what is, okay. Interesting. I'm gonna leave that where it is. Although that might be why I'm hurting for cash because the defaults are too low. Hello, lady. How do I, well, yeah, I probably should turn the prices up. Let me turn, let's make this a dollar 30. I can't rapid click, this is so slow. Grr. And the scroll wheel doesn't help either. So two times on 30, so you're, you're saving a few cents by getting two scoops. Chocolate, single scoop, should be the same price. Chocolate, double scoop, should be the same price as the other one. Let's go, 240. There we go. Okay. I don't know why people are so hungry, though. Let's see what this guy is thinking. Enjoyed Reese's Peanut Butter Cups 1. Here it goes! You probably thought that when he was on a ride. Uh, no thoughts. Make way! Okay, not a lot of thoughts for him. Let's try this girl over here. I enjoy the Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Get out of my way! Oh gosh. Seems rude. What are these guys thinking? Gross! I need a toilet. Yeah, there's, a, there's probably a mess in the path somewhere. But I don't know what I'm doing. All I know is I'm having fun because this is cool. It's not all trash. People, there's garbage cans everywhere. What the heck? <laughs> oh, gosh. Where are my staff members? I've got a mechanic there. Where are my handymen? This is garbage, right? I think that's garbage. Let me find my... Uh, find my... New invention, Egypt Wall Recessed. Uh, okay, then. This park is really clean and tidy. Ew! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Oh, but our handyman's here. Good. He's here to fix it. That's good. Janitor 3. That was unexpected. And what is this person thinking? Yurg. Maybe he did it too. Okay, then. Well. Uh-oh. We have a broken path. Uh, I don't know how to fix that, but, uh, I guess we'll just have to rebuild it. Where is my... Aha! We'll replace that, because it broke. Is there supposed to be two? Oh, they're all broken! I missed... Not my flower beds, no! Just like Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, I'm clicking the wrong stuff. Grr! Okay, I need to turn these off. Flowers on. Large flower bed and change the color to be. Where's the colors? Yellow and red. This should be yellow. 
I think there's more yellow than there is red. Oh no, red, yellow, and pink, I think. So, we'll just make this yellow. There we go. I think that's the wrong shade of yellow, but I can barely tell. Are people yelling in enjoyment, or are they yelling in pain? I can't tell. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Uh, they sound funny. Oh, there's the background music. Let me zoom in a little bit. I think I need more rides, and our cash is going up ever so slowly. Let me bring up my financials again. Uh, graph. Money. Okay, so we just barely out-earned March in April, so we're not... Eh, these get, these numbers are so tiny, though. Our park value went up a tad, I think. Maybe a few hundred dollars. I'm not sure, actually. Ugh, I don't know what to do. How do I make more money? Is anyone riding this? Or is it too expensive? Maybe it's because my rides are too expensive. What are people thinking? I'm not paying that much. Oh, that's why I don't have any money. All my rides are too expensive. Let's try $6. I don't know what the ballpark price range is for Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. I'll probably look it up. And Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, you can charge at least what I, the, the guy that I typically use, is you add your intensity and excitement together or something or other. That sounded gross. But like, if you have a roller coaster with an excitement of 6 and an intensity of 7, I could charge maybe $13. Although if you account for the nausea rating, the nausea actually affects the price too. So if you have a high nausea rating, you can actually ch you can charge more. So I'd probably charge about 15, at least for the first few months of operation before it gets old and people aren't willing to pay as much. But a roller coaster tycoon three, I don't know. There's only a few people in line for this. I'm not paying that much to go on chair swing one. So maybe so on roller coaster tycoon two, if it's too expensive, no one will ride it. But if it's the right price, then a lot of people will. But in this game, I see some people are still in line. And I think I took that as a sign that it was an appropriate price. I think it actually gradually reduces the number of guests willing to ride it. To the point that no one rides it. So that's interesting. So I think if I turn everything down, I'll have a higher volume of guests. 350. Reese's peanut butter cups are delicious. Let's see. I think I think that's the default I left it at. Or no, maybe I did turn it up. Everyone's riding it though. These are popular. What is the price for this? Five dollars? Seven hundred and fifty dollars per hour. This one is producing Oh, now look at that. A thousand two hundred and thirty per hour. Not bad. What about this one? Seven hundred and thirty-four per hour. This one is doing 300 yet, yeah, no, no, barely squat. Enterprise with like two people in line. Let's see. No recent thoughts. People just aren't very interested in it. Huh. What about this ride? 250? Bruh. Oh, these are projected incomes. It's not even. Huh. So it doesn't actually tell me what it's doing. It only gives me the projected income. Interesting. Is there a way to see what it has done or what it, the actual numbers are? So if people are willing to pay $5 for it, well, what are the stats? First of all, oh, the stats aren't even very good. I probably can't charge that much. Mopey is thinking about quitting. Well, that's not surprising. You have won an award. Best reliability. Nice. Where's Mopey? Mopey! Where's my lazy Mopey? Hey Mopey, where are you at, buddy? Going to inspect a ride. My work is varied. Yerg! Bored, bored, bored! I've just about had enough! Well, I don't even know how to fix that. Do I have to pay him more? How much does the other guy earn? Mechanic 1, what do you earn? 55, same deal. Nothing is different between the two of them. Maybe it's just because there's... The game has varied personalities, so do I just fire this guy and hire another one? Let me try that. Where's the button to fire him? Mopey! Oh, it's a little drop down. That's cool. Okay. Do 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 do. Board, board, board. 
Here to train staff member. Nope. Fired. Okay, goodbye, Mopey. <laughs> Let's hire another mechanic. Mechanic three is happy. Nice. So I guess you just cycle through your, your staff until you find ones you like. Ooh, a safari hat. That's fun. Let's ride this again. I want to ride it. Oh, come back. Let's see. Go here. Woohoo! What is that thing? Oh, it's someone's head. <laughs> That's what. No! Let, get, get out of my face! Ah! Oh, this is broken. Woo! Get out of my face, dude! Let me change my. Change my seat. I guess I'll sit behind him. This is cool. Woohoo! Put your hands in the air, folks. <laughs> Change to rear cam. What does that do? Oh, I get it. Okay. Neat. And then does anything pop up beneath you so you can actually get out? Nope. They just magically end up on the on the path. Okay, whatever. Okay, then. Well, let's look at our money again. Oh, we actually have money now. Maybe I fixed it. Maybe changing the prices of my rides has fixed our problem. Yeah, like Tumblr only has a handful of people on it. Originally, I looked at it and saw, hey, look, there's guests. Therefore, it's a good price. But that's not how it works, apparently. I think more likely what's actually going on. Yeah, it's only like a core one third full. I think what's really going on is the, the effect it has is gradual as opposed to all at once. Hello. Are you going to inspect? I think this is my new guy. Yep, 6th of June, year 2, so he's our new guy. Nice. What else can I do here? I want to build another roller coaster, as I said, but I don't have a lot of money still. Oh, yay, I did it! My park value has gone up, but can I make it to tycoon level? Wait, what was, what was that thing? I missed it. Uh... I have a lot of cash now, all of a sudden. Was there a, a cash reward for reaching it? Maybe that's why I'm struggling with cash so much, is because most of your cash comes from meeting your objectives. I don't know! I'm so lost! Where did all this money come from? I closed it before I had a chance to read it. Gosh dang it. Guests in Park 600? Well, we, we reached that a long time ago. We just need to get more people, or increase our park value to 100,000. 100k, folks! So I say, let's build more stuff! There's a lay down roller coaster, turbo bikes. I have no idea what that is. Oh, that's from one of the expansions. Let's build the junior roller coaster and we will place it on the ground so I don't have to mess with the paths again. Where's my arrow pointing? I can't see. Oh, it's going that way. It's, it's hard to see. I wish it was a solid arrow. Okay, let's build it over here so we have enough room back here to turn and everything. That is not what I wanted to do. We want more station pieces. Okay, and now let's do our lift hill. Okay, it looks like unlike Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, the lift hill has to be straight. Can this go down or do I have to transition first? Okay, let's turn around. How tall can this go? Do I get my money back? That is not the button I meant to press. 44. Yep. So I get the money back for it. I should probably turn height marks on. Okay. So that's... Oh, that's pretty tall. Let's bring this back down. It does not need to be that tall. And this is a junior roller coaster after all. So let's actually do this. Down. Oh, nice. So it looks like the junior roller coaster in this version of the game is capable of banked turns. Why can't I... Huh? So it can go up and down while banked, but it can't turn while banked. Interesting. Yeah, that's really weird. Well, I'm not going to bank them. I'm going to leave it flat. So I was going to praise the game by saying that they do something that Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 doesn't. But it doesn't do it. It's just weird like that. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, it looks like I get access to uh, steep turns or steep hills. But this is too tall, though, so I can't use it. 
Uh, so break those. I think 34 feet is just pretty short, though, so I'm going to make this taller. Let's bring this back. I think I have enough wiggle room over here to complete it, so let's shorten the station. Uh, let's go up. I'll have to add more station pieces on the back later. Oh, I do have the option to just click on this. Okay, so I don't have to click on these tiny controls. I can click on this. Interesting. Very interesting. Can I go outside the park here? I cannot. What a shame. Okay. Let's flatten out here instead. Turn the chain off. Make this wider so the G-forces aren't too intense. All right, and don't go underground. Now, I think we have access to helixes, so that's a... Whoops, not what I meant to do. Bank the other way. Oh, we do have access to large and small helixes. It's just that this particular roller coaster didn't. Okay. So let's do a large helix. A large helix up. And uh, never mind, let's do a small helix up. Then a large helix up again. Still doesn't work. Huh. Well, maybe... Okay, what if I make it tighter? Still doesn't work. Okay, so this has to be tight. Tight like this. Now I think I should have room to do some large helixes up. Large helix up. Nope. Okay, start with a small helix up, then a large helix up. There we go. That's what I wanted. Now go wide. Or not wide yet. Do this. Now go wide. Oh, like a charm. Beautiful thing. Now straighten out. Flatten out. Build. Now go down. Do I have room to do this? Oh, look at that. I do. Perfect. Although that makes me go underground. I didn't want to do that. Okay, the station is at one foot off the ground, so flatten out. Wrong way. Oh, that lined up just perfectly. Let's autocomplete. Uh, yes, like that. Although I do want to change this piece. No, 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 don't put that there. Get Remove that. How do I move the, how do I move the station? How do I move it? Yo, let me do it. Let me do it. Construction. Oh, that's how I do it. <laughs> okay, so it's a little bit longer. Um, I would like to have multiple trains, but I may not be able to. Unless, no, don't delete it. Let's take these pieces back. Yeah, we'll keep that one. Yeah, keep that one. Then go straight. Then make a tight turn. This looks a little janky, but it's okay. I guess we won't be able to have uh, more trains, but that's okay. It doesn't have to. Now, how do I change this entrance? Where's the button to change the entrance? Please don't tell me that's set in stone once I place it. That would be lame, bro. How to move... Okay, I gotta Google this too. How to move, how to move stations in RCT3. Okay, after consulting Google, I think it's in here. Does this allow me to change the station? Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. Put the exit there. Aha, there we go, fixed it. That might allow me to build the slide finally, now that I figured that out. <laughs> All right, let's get our path situation set up. Let's get our entrance, entrance path. And our exit, where is it? We get sand now, but let's keep this consistent. Nice, very nice. All right, and with that, I think we can test. Wait, wait, no, no, don't test. Why do? Why is the train so short, bro? Let me see. Do we got multiple trains. Two trains of three, or one train of seven. Oh, yeah, let's do one train of seven.
Okay. Nice. Now, is it going to do... Oh, I had to press play again. <laughs> All right. So let's watch how it performs and then watch it in first person. Oh, I think I get scenery. I get a ride events, don't I? I wonder what kind of ride events I get. Oh, I don't get any. Bro. Okay, never mind. I can't build any. That's lame. Woo! Ever so gently through the helix. And it looks like it's about to stall. I saw something in the settings. What is low friction? Low friction. Higher quality lubricants are used in the coaster, resulting in a reduction in friction and a small increase in running costs. Oh, well, I'll leave that turned off then. I want that money. <laughs> it seems to have done just fine. Nice stats. So we can open this. And the default price of $1 is too low. So I'm going to change it to $4. If people are willing to pay that. <clears throat> Let's hope. Let's cross our fingers. And I'm going to change these colors. What even is this? So we already have a red roller coaster. So let's make this one. Where's my, uh, how do I paint it? There it is. So let's change the color of the track. Make it, that kind of blends at the ground, doesn't it? And so does that. Okay, let's change this to blue. Never mind the neighboring roller coaster's blue. <laughs> I don't know what to choose. <laughs> you hear that? Yeah, that's hilarious. Okay, maybe white, but the trains, the train cars certainly need to be red because they're ladybugs. Okay, that's better. Now, what is this? Color for lights? We don't have any lights. Unless it does have lights, I just don't see them. Um, recolor. That's not doing anything. Maybe we could try pink. That was the station. Okay, let's change the track to pink. No, the supports will leave those where they were. So pink station, pink track, and maybe yellow cars. That is not the shade I wanted. It's not very vibrant, is it? And the handlebars can be red. Nice. Okay, well, let's watch this. I want to see how this looks from first person. And hopefully I don't... Ew! Hey, quit vomiting in the past, people. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, good sir. <laughs> don't mind me. I'm just, uh, just sitting on your lap. <laughs> don't mind me. Yeah, I guess we're going <clears> to <throat> enjoy this ride together. <laughs> Man, look at that face, though. Look at his mustache. Just line up. Whoa, oh, I guess we're going. Yeah, his mustache isn't lined up properly. It's a little bug in the graphics, I guess. I'm still impressed, though. This is really cool. Really impressive for its time. Whee! Over the hill and through the woods to Grandmother's house. I always like to look inwards when I'm on a ride like this. Woohoo! And just gently crest this hill. Yeehaw! Okay. Well, that was fun. Let's see. We have, uh, still have a lot of cash, so I could afford to build more stuff. We should probably build another roller coaster over here. Let's look at our objective. We have to get 100,000 park value. And where are we at right now? 71,000. So we still need about 20, $29,000 more of park value. So... I think the remedy is another roller coaster. Let's look at our options again. We already have this, we have this. The lay down roller coaster. I don't think we have one of these yet. These are very fancy. So let's build one over here. I do want to build this up in the air a little bit. Have it facing that way. Uh, wrong button. One, two, three, four. What is that, 20 feet? Oh no, it's 17 or three. Okay. Do I get a preview of the trains, or do I have to, t to get a preview after it's running? What does this do? Oh, that's the station. Photo section. I didn't think to put a photo section on the other rides. Oh, well, I'll do that in this one later. First, 
Let's ever so slowly build our lift hill, which doesn't allow me to rapid click. <laughs> I wish I could. Okay, uh, no more whining from me. We're going to make this roller coaster fabulistic and fantastic. Wrong way. Can I build over the edge of the park? Nope, I cannot. I can do this, though. Let's flatten out. And pop up again. Or, nope, not like that. No, 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 no. Delete that. Roll this. There we go. And I think I am... Uh-oh, I'm over the path. I don't want to be over the path. There we go. I want to be next to the path. And come flying down next to our guests and give them a royal scare. Yes, indeed. Uh, where am I? You know, bring me back. Bring me back. There we go. Now, I don't want a gradual drop to steep. Let's uh, make this more abrupt. Oh, and I can go underground. Does that just keep pushing the ground lower? Oh, brother, that is not what we want. Yikes. Okay, well, now we have the giant pit. The pit of death. Can I... No! And stop... No. I did... That's not what I wanted. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what is it doing? I did not mean to click that. No, no, stop, 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 stop. There we go. Turn that off. That was a seizure if I've ever seen one. Now, how do I bring the land back up? Topography, terrain shaping. Can I reach down there? Let's just bring this up flat. Nice that it's not so horribly expensive. In Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, this is obscenely expensive. Like, astronomically expensive. That is not what I meant to do. No, let me see. Ugh, I can't see down there. And here's a complaint I always had with Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 as well, is if you dig a big hole like this and you can't see what you're doing anymore, you're basically stuck like that unless you spend more money carving the rest of the ground down. <sighs> anyway. Lower terrain, raised terrain, smooth terrain, adjust terrain tiles. Terrain editing mode? I guess we'll just have a giant hole in the ground. Let's actually, let's make that, um, whoops. Oh, we have coffee. Let's actually put scenery around that to make it look deliberate, because that'd be kind of cool. And uh, we'll demolish this. Here we go. And now, half loop down, huh? Okay, we got a loop. That's a big loop. Goodness. Let's do a half loop instead. And do a... Uh, holy! Large overbanked turn. Where do I get access to that? Well, that's cool that we have these really unique roller coaster track, uh, track pieces that I don't have access to in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 or 2. But uh, let's not do that. That's way too tall. That goes up to... Just how tight does that go? It certainly goes taller than the uh, lift hill goes. So let's not do that. Let's finish this. Do we get any corkscrews? Okay, we get this corkscrew. Let me... Ugh, this isn't intuitive. Come back. Okay, straight. Down. Bank that way. Oh, snap. That's not going to work. You know, this actually might be a good place for our photo section. As filler. You cannot place this track piece there. Of course not. I can't place that one there either. Oh, okay. So instead of doing those, let's actually build another corkscrew. This way. Ho oh, ho! Problemo solved! Let's put the half loop back. Oh dear! Problemo, not solved. Large, do we get large loops? We do not. Okay, we could have multiple cork, yeah, multiple corkscrews going like that, and then a half loop. That's fun. And follow that up with a regular loop. 
And this is pretty to look at. Look at that. Now I have to bring it back to the station somehow. So let's uh, bank it. This is an intuitive. I feel like it's the side that it's banking from, but then it turns the opposite direction, which makes sense if you look at it, but in, it's, I, don't know, I don't know. I'm having a hard time here. How tall does this go? I have a feeling this is roughly the, oh, this is a cool view, roughly the same height as the lift hill. So let's not go any taller than that. Let's level out. Looks like we're gonna crash into our loop though. So let's actually break this and sneak between our half loops and our corkscrew. So if we can go over the bottom of the corkscrew, yeah, I think that'll work. Nope, did not mean to do that. Let's flatten out. Yep, at the back. Flatten out. Can I put the track, can I put the photo section up here? Is that kind of nice view from up here? And I'm still hitting something. Okay, it looks like I had to go taller. Okay. Darn it. In that case, go straight. Stop banking, but still go up just slightly. Now try the photo section. Is it still going to clip with something? Yep, it looks like I need more clearance. Gosh dang it. I was hoping I could sneak through there, but I can't. Oh, well, let's do this. And maybe go under the corkscrew. If I have room. Oh, hello, mountain. <laughs> Let me over. Let me. No, 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 wrong way. There we go. Here we go. Now flatten out. I don't think I have enough room here. I was afraid of that. I think we have to delete those. And maybe flatten out. Um. Yeah, do that, and then turn. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Now what happens if I tell it to reconnect? I don't like that in the slightest, so let's not do that. Oops, break that. So let's uh, go down now. Uh, why do I keep crashing into this mountain? Stop. Let's come in from this angle. Here's a better angle. Let's flatten out. Uh-oh. I am going to need this space here for my station, so let's flatten this. Let's have some mini hills here. Alrighty. Now from here, let's uh, turn around. Not that way. Well, no, I think we have to... No, 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 no. Uh, go down first. <laughs> go down. We'll first straighten out. And I think that that's in the way. Yeah, it's kind of in the way, but... Can I make this work? Yeah, that's unnecessary. Let's just go up to... Here... Roll this. Here we go. And I think if I helix this down, let's see, small helix. No, don't build that. Flatten out. Well, why are we at 12 though? I want to. Okay. Instead, let's do this. Okay. Whoops. Flatten out first. Now S bend right. Oh, we are at the right height. <laughs> it's just giving me a different height elevation for the turn. That's interesting. Good to know though. Let's S bend right. No, oh, we should probably brake first actually. So let's put some brakes on here. Some brakes down to 895 is good, I think. And then S bend. What's wrong with that? Oh, no, no, no. No! <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Okay, this is our exit. Let's just place it here. Okay, I still want to edit this. So give me this piece. 
and break those. No, 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 no. Oh, for goodness sake. This one. Break those brakes. Replace that with the S bend that we had. There we go. And now block brakes. So we get multiple trains. Now I can put the entrance on over there. And do I have room to put a path here? Not sure. We can turn the lift hill speed up, I think. Let's turn it up as far as it'll go. 12 miles per hour. Nice. And then for cars and trains, we have uh, six trains. It looks like I only get one train, though. Even though I have these block brakes. So maybe we should add... Uh... Oh, I see why. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't see why. I, for a second, I thought I forgot my lift hill. But no, it's there. And the lift hill should be a block section. Maybe my train is too long. Interesting. Maybe I just don't get more trains. What if I take this piece right here and turn this into a block break? Now how many trains do I get? Still no more. Okay, well, in that case... Turn this back into regular brakes. And I guess we get one measly train on this. But I'm not... Uh, there's got to be a solution to this. Because I got two trains in this one. So why am I not able to get more trains on this? Because the block section should be sufficiently long. Or did I accidentally put a regular brake there? I'm so bamboozled. What is happening here? Oh, that's so cool. I love that animation. That is so cool. Neat. I am stumped, though. What is the deal? Can it not be follow? Can it not follow an S-Bend? Let me... Huh. Perhaps if I bust this... Now, uh, da, da, da. not details, uh, construction, place that, S-Bend first, now put brakes on, what does that do for us? I'm so stumped, why do I not get more trains, bro? I want to have it. Hmm. Well, I'm stumped. Maybe if I change this over here. So let's, uh... Break these. Let's break this whole section. That is the wrong direction. Put that back. Okay, go this way. Here we go. That's what I want to see. Okay. Let's put some brakes here. To 11. To start with. And then slow that down considerably. And now we put our block, our first block section here. Well, no, we should probably have more brakes first, just for safety. So we don't have a, a crash. Assuming that's something that can happen in this game. I actually don't know. And now, roll. Small helix down. Let's turn height marks back on. Let's flatten this out. Now put the S-Bend on. Straight. Okay. Now how many trains do I get? Still one. Or is it because... <laughs> I forgot to click... I forgot to toggle that. Y'all make fun of me in the comments. I am so clueless. So now we get three trains on this thing. Holy smoke. You know, maybe that's actually advantageous. Let's get three trains. That's cool. Let's, uh, let's fire it up. I want to see what this does. Why is it still ghost trains, though? Oh, it's testing ghost trains. Unless that's the color of them. Is that the color? No, it's not the color. It's because my, uh, editor's still open. Oh, so you can preview what it does to make sure it doesn't crash. So that's something that OpenRCT2 did to change Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, but it's not in the vanilla game. It's cool to see that it is in the vanilla game in this game. That's neat. That's very neat. 
Okay, well, I want to... Let's get a first-person view of this. Woohoo! Down we go! Ho ho ho! Through the loop. Through the corkscrew. Yeehaw! We appear to have plenty of momentum. That's good to see. And these hills. And then brakes. And then black brakes. That's all there is to see? All right. While that finishes up, let's build our path system. We only have one type, which is uh, fine, I guess. Let's open this. That was a mistake. Let's actually start this over here. Place that. Oops. New. No. There we go. All right. And now for the exit, now that I have this figured out, uh, hello, come back. Come back here. There we go. Whoa, whoa, why did that change? Steep. Okay, something's not going on. Not, something's not right. Why is that slanting? Be tall. No. Can I only do one at a time? Or no, it's because the exit can't be there, can it? The exit can't be there because this tr the roller coaster's in the way. So in that case, let's close. Let's turn, kill that. Now let's find this. And we have to move, uh, for first of all, I can delete all these paths. So let's open the path again. Delete these, get our money back. Okay, and now we can move the station. Let's move the entrance over. Move the exit over. Oh, that's how you do it. So each one gets its own control. And Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, it just automatically does both at the same time. Interesting. Let's grab this. Go to Q line. Okay. Okay. Go down. Flatten out. Go steep down again. And flatten out. And now for the exit, same deal. Let's just switch the path type up. No, not like that. That is not what we want. I guess we have to do it from the ground. Go up. There we go. I'm going to laugh if the stats are too intense. Oh, good. And we have an excitement rating that is higher than the intensity rating. That's what I like to see. So I'm going to assume that I can charge maybe $6 for this. I hope. Let's go. All right. This park is really taking shape. Look at it. I love how spaced out everything is. And we have these nice roller coasters. We have the one that came with the park. Then we have the ones we designed ourselves. Well, myself, what am I saying? <laughs> I mean, I guess I can give you credit for it too. I mean, you guys are the reason I'm doing this and I am uh, very grateful to that. So let's build more stuff. Let's build, Do we unlock anything? Thrill rides, we did unlock anything. But now that I know how to do this, Let's build our giant slide, finally. <laughs> Since I was so lost before. Let's see, uh, Z, turn that around. Up twice. Okay, so that's that. Now from here. Or no, maybe I don't know how to do it. Oh, here it is. Entrance. Oh, they have to go on this side. Okay, well, in that case, let's uh, demolish these. And place it here. Yeah, I'll place it over here. Oh, we can actually have it encroach over the path. I normally I wouldn't want it to be too close to this other ride, but that's kind of cool that there's a bridge system there. Hmm. Nah, I don't like it. It's too close to this other ride. But what I could do is move it away from the edge of the park. Just like this. There we go. Now the spacing looks better. Much better. Okay. So close the editor. Let's grab our entrance and our exit. So let's put the uh, exit, I'll put the entrance. Oh, is it deciding for me? 
All right, okay, I guess it makes sense. And then grab the path. Put our path there. And our entrance path here. Neato, let's go. Oh, I love this music. Can I get inside of this? Prehistoric gate right. What does the right mean? Like right side? I'm confused. Okay, there's no test mode. People just get on and have fun. So let's turn the price up to buck fifty because I have no idea what the appropriate price is. Or maybe two dollars. We pay two dollars. I want to go on something more thrilling. They say. What about the thoughts? That is actually a really high stat. I'm surprised. It is a pretty big slide, though. People are getting in line for it. That's good to see. And they're paying up front. That's good. What did I charge for this? $2? Well, based on the stats, I could probably charge more than $2. Let's try $4. She's paying. Really good value. That's what I thought it would be because it was too cheap. Here we go. I wonder if I can watch. I can't watch. That's a shame. Okay, well, that ride doesn't let me watch. What about this one? I want to watch this one. Woohoo! Let's go! You know, it'd be really cool is if you could control this. Oh, look, I won while I'm in the ride. <laughs> okay. So I click OK. Does that mean I did it? Yes! I did it! I have 600 guests in the park. And my park rating, if I open this, not my park rating, my uh, my park value. Woohoo! Let's go! Yes! And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, my first ever Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 playthrough. And I am very proud of how it turned out. Look at this place. What a beautiful little park. Very, very cute. Uh, three sizable roller coasters. So this one, granted, came with the park, but then I built this one. So we have lots of cool roller coasters, lots of little rides. We even have some scenery that I plopped down. So if you've enjoyed this video, if you'd like to continue, continue, what am I saying? Continue watching me. <laughs> I can't English. If you'd like to watch me play through more of these, be sure to like and subscribe and comment your feedback, tips and suggestions. Maybe laugh at me and mock my incompetence in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it. Until next time, have a great rest of your day and goodbye.